I mean, the biggest reason why nature is important for everybody, it's because I think we notice it when we're disconnected. And so we know that our roots are there. Sometimes people don't need a reason or don't need it to be explained. They just know that when they go out on a trail, they go out into nature, they feel better. What we are doing now is doing a lot more research around that to kind of prove it. What we are affirming is that, yeah, if you're going to go out and connect with nature, physically, you're going to be better. You're going to get that exercise. Cognitively, mentally, it actually improves your focus. It helps you relieve stress. Even spiritually and emotionally, it allows you to make sure that you're able to kind of recenter and focus on what you're doing because out in the much more structured human world, everything's trying to get your attention and you can only handle so much. Right now, it tends to be a challenge because of how we use and engage with technology, for example. And you tend to get into these discussions about, well, all technology is bad and disconnects you from nature. And the other side, you have people that say, well, it's a tool and so it's useful to be able to go out and maybe take pictures or share that or connect with that excitement. I tend to uh, tell parents especially, is like the most important thing you can do is just get the kids out there. And then the second most important thing is build a habit around it. Once you do that, I think the other pieces begin to settle in a little bit more and you can handle them uh, in a way that works best for your family. Because it's true. A lot of times it's useful to go out there with the phone because that Instagram moment or that ability to share connects with that excitement that they want to come back. Other times it's about saying we have phone-free moments so that all you're doing is trying to be present with what's around you.